It is the White House press correspondent's dinner 2024. Uh, here's some moments the TV cameras missed. Oh. Lady Gaga in Yes. Are you still out there? Yes. I have to be with the Yes. Where do you think this is going to happen? Because Biden now says he's ready. Listen, Trump has outplayed Biden a little bit on this. Trump has been saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Biden finally said, yeah, I'll do it. Now Trump is saying, well, I'm ready to go tonight. Let's do it tonight. Let's do it Monday. Biden's probably going to say, I think I'll wait until after the conventions when they are scheduled. And Trump is going to say, oh, he's not ready. He needs time to prepare. I could go tonight. And I think Trump knows it's going to be better for him because he'll look very energetic. He'll look robust. He doesn't have to um, stick to, like, facts. <laughs> he doesn't have to talk about policies. His team doesn't care about that. Biden will yeah, want to, <laughs> to speak in facts, right, and talk about policies. So it'll be interesting. I, I think it'll happen, but I do. But um, I think Trump's playing a pretty good game. Right now. Since you went to SC, let me go to the, the other host of CNN's Crossfire, who's here with us. There tonight. you go. Um, taking your way back. Don't forget <laughs> it. Deep cut. Deep cut. <laughs> so President Biden will be speaking tonight. How much do you think he can focus on Donald Trump? And in what way? There are times when he speaks, he will not say Trump's name. Uh, I, I think tonight he'll... he'll he, the funniest topic on planet Earth is Donald Trump. Donald Trump has given comedians stuff to work with for decades... Uh, Biden will he'll, he'll do his thing. But look, for me, I am excited about everything but the Biden of it all. I'm excited about uh, Colin Jost. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of if you're not if you're not a Saturday Night Live person, you don't know how funny this guy is. Yeah, this guy and is smart and smart yeah. as hell. Yeah. So to me, that's I'm looking for him. I'm waiting for him. Scott Jennings. Yeah. Do you think that there is a way to entice voters? when you take this podium. A lot of people do watch this. Is there something that you could say to, they're like, you know what, he is really fun. You know, I, I like him. him. Uh, no, not for Colin Jones. <laughs> 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 We're switching places. We're switching wow. places. <laughs> um, but, but for the president. I don't know. I, I mean, if you, if you snap off a funny joke or two, it'll be replayed and people will see it. I mean, I'm expecting him to scold the press. I mean, that's what he said he was going to do. He told Howard Stern that. And there's been reporting this week that he's, you know, butthurt about the New York Times Ooh. and the way they treat him. Wow. Okay. Butthurt. And so, right. and so, I'm just, right. but, but it's Friday he, night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. But he, it's, does, he does <laughs> not, there. He, night. he does Saturday. not believe the media is sufficiently supportive of him mm. and the Democrats, if you can oh. believe it. He doesn't believe that. So I'm, I don't know if he's going to be funny or if he's going to stand up there and, uh, and uh, scold 
all these reporters for not doing their job, which is helping him win a second term. He I'm might do it in a truth in jest situation. He yeah. was really funny last there's year. No, he me, was there's funny. no jokes. Every joke, there's there's truth in every there's joke. There's always truth in we'll jest. See what he yeah. does. But Scott, who are you wearing? More importantly. More importantly, <laughs> actually, he's got beer wing. I've got orangutan. Okay. <laughs> Lesser known designer, uh, but in Louisville, it's huge. Oh my God! You wear it well. You wear it well. Scott, Scott Jennings, Jennings. bringing it. All right, Van Jones is here. Also, Van Latham, Van Morrison waiting in the wings for us. To get. <laughs> Just tell us what you're What's looking for. What's your hat by? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Stetson, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, <laughs> so look, it, it used to be that this was kind of like the all-star weekend of politics. You know, everybody was... But now it's, it's fairly high leverage, right? Joe Biden doesn't have to get up there and prove his platform or his vision. He has to show proof of life. <laughs> and that's like every oh, time he talks... Look, every time he talks, people want to know if he has the energy and the stamina, if he's with it enough. So this is actually an opportunity for him to, like, in my opinion, it's not... He has to prove something to voters any time he's in front of a mic. So I think it's a big deal for him. I do. Sarah, to his point, you yeah. started off asking about are we ready for this debate? Will it finally yeah. happen? I, I, I reference another sports reference to Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. Ooh, Remember everyone yeah. wanted all that yeah. fight? Yes. They wanted that fight, yes. and it was, it was prolonged for so long. And then when it finally happened, it really wasn't much ado about nothing. Right. But there was a lot of dancing, and I didn't see a real winner, if I'm honest. Mm. My take. You could say Floyd is the best ever. People will say that. Yeah. They can argue me back and forth, but we're talking about, was there a pure knockout? No, there wasn't. That's what I would think would happen if that were to ever happen. The debate. Yes. Yeah. And, and to your point, he is, he, he does need to prove that he is smart and quick, and that pause was just an accident. By the way, I've read the prompter and also said pause, too. I've read uh, the words. Uh, I've read every word. There. We've all been there. I'm not, and I'm not taking that. We've, we're like, wait, stop. Good, good morning? Is that for me? Like, it happens often. I'm not, I'm not excusing said behavior, but I agree. Tonight, we're going to see what he has. Are we paying attention? Can he be funny? Will we be entertained? Yeah. And that's what I think most people will be looking for. I think that was a very good comment. <laughs> and as my, as my sports mm -hmm. sister over there, yes, you right. brought sports into this. I'm yes, proud. Yes, you got to bring that <laughs> Like, now I understand it. Thank you for putting it in terms that I can understand. I'll give you all the The Washington Hilton tonight will host the so-called Nerd Prom, the annual White House Correspondents Association dinner. Over the decades, this Hilton has seen them come and go, from White House greats to wannabes. You see him over the hill. Don Lemon would say that's a man of his prime. <laughs> President Biden returns tonight for a tradition since 1924. The president and the press yucking it up with one-liners and zingers. It's a gala, black tie mandatory, with comic timing and thick skin suggested. Presidents kind of get to go into a more informal setting, let their hair down a bit, and uh, indeed uh, poke fun at themselves. Over the last few months, I've lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Where did they go? Is there a political calculation in, in all that, too? There's always a political calculation. You know, everything that's done in Washington is political. Hollywood A-listers now clamor to get an invite to the Hilton's ballroom. Some critics don't like the gala. They say it's proof of a cozy relationship between the White House and the media. You might also remember the Hilton as the stage for an assassination attempt. Outside the hotel in 1981, John Hinckley shot and wounded President Reagan. At least four of the bullets found a target. One of them, the President of the United States. Reagan, still recovering, called in to the dinner. Well, I'm happy to be speaking to the White House correspondent Spring Prom. I'm sorry <laughs> that I can't be there in person. <laughs> the hotel and the president survived and thrived after the assassination attempt. Sometimes in politics, the laughs are intentional.